Hey y'all, Ken here again. Today I just wanna just wanna talk about a phrase that I thought about that people use a lot. And um it's only God can judge me. Now um today this morning I was um uh, on my way to work and um I ran into uh, a young kid, I would say he's a he's a high school age kid, and uh, speaking, you know, this was this morning as of today, but when this video come out, it would technically be yesterday's morning, but um, yeah, I ran into um, a high school kid, and uh, he had a he had a nice shirt on, a nice design, and. It said only God can judge me, and uh, I went and I uh, I witnessed to him. I told him about, you know, what Jesus did for us, and told him the gospel. And he was very respectful, and he um, he received the message. But uh, I was just thinking just about what was on his shirt, just the phrase "only God can judge me," and that you know it makes me think about Tupac, which is. Uh, Right here, you know, I had to put on his shirt. You know, he he got the song um, from um, from his from his album "All Eyes on Me." He got a song called "Only God Can Judge Me," and um, yeah, man, it just it just one of those phrases that people uses a use a lot. Like you don't even have to be a Christian to say that. You can just say "Only God Can Judge Me," and you can use that as a as a weapon to go against somebody that's, you know, probably go against a, a person of God that's, that's, uh, trying to convict you of, uh, of sins. And, you know, I just think it's, uh, very interesting how we got these phrases and these, um, these spiritual things that we say, but we don't even know what it means really. And, um, uh, one thing that we do know, all of us know that is true. Only God can judge us, but I feel some people use it as a as a way just to just to get people off their back. Like I know I'm living the way I'm living. I'm living a sinful life, but only God can judge me. And if you think about it logically, that should be a thing you should fear. You know, if you're not. If you're living a sinful life and you know that only God can judge you, that should give you a reason to, to uh, you know, stop what you're doing. You know, I feel you know, evangelist job and the uh, sons and daughters of Jesus' job is to go and warn people that yes, God will judge us. So you know, get yourself right, get your get your life right. Before before that happens, you know, so uh, yeah, I just thought about that. You know, the um, the kid was very respectful, and he didn't know he didn't know a lot about God and uh, and Jesus, and that surprised me because his shirt. But you know, nowadays uh, people just wear shirts and say things and don't really know the meaning of it, but um. Yeah, just thought that was an interesting thing to talk about. And I was thinking about it more also about just Tupac himself. About his lifestyle and things like he was running with a bad crowd. And he was a very talented guy, man. Talented artist, talented actor. And he was uh, running around with a bad crowd. You know, I, I can't I can't say when he died, where where he went. I don't know if he, um, if in his final days, if he was close with God and repented of his, of his sins, but that goes to show you, man, you know, only God can judge us and that should be enough for us to, you know, get ourselves right and, you know, be under God's grace and not his judgment, not his wrath. But, um, yeah, just wanted to uh, share that. Hope y'all have a good rest of the week, good holidays and all that.
God bless.